Waiting can be difficult because the outcome of what you're waiting for can determine your next steps. So how can we combat the agony of waiting for the process of J1 waiver? In this video, we are going to talk about that. So let's dive in and let the journey begin. Hello everyone, this is Emery. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey, where we show you our random activities here in Central Florida. And today, we are going to talk about the agony of waiting. We all know that the process of J-1 Weaver can take years. So for now, we should know the forms to submit. Just like these forms to the USCIS and these forms with the Department of State. If you're going to ask me which one I have to file first, you should know the forms to file from the top to bottom. It is so hard to know that your case have been submitted to the USCIS without any receipt of notice. Receipt of notice is in the form I-797C and that will go with the mail or it could be through the USCIS portal. There is a portal that you can find online. Just go to USCIS.gov and you will know the steps. Also, you can determine through your case number. So each forms shown here, you will have a unique case number. So the agony of waiting, especially with the J-1 waiver, is really hard to think that it has to be done this way because most of it should be processed from day one all the way till 12 months and that's what I had experienced. I am a J-1 teacher from the Philippines with 212E rule. I am so thankful I got my waiver through exceptional hardship with my U.S. citizen spouse and now I am a green card holder helping you through sharing my experiences on how I did it through DIY. We have our website if you would like to avail some of the statement of reasons with your DS-335 and the statement or sworn letter for your I-612 and a checklist that you can use to prepare yourself. So if you are on your second year and fourth year, it is best to submit your form or your waiver already. But if you are on your first year, just wait for a while that way you can establish your relationship first then if you are on your third year better not tell your visa sponsor that you are married to a u.s citizen because they might cut off your visa and they will not extend you for the next four and five years as a j1 you must still be on status while you're processing your waiver that way you will have a smoother flow. The agony of waiting though makes us feel that we are not doing good or we are not doing a good progress with our papers but come to think of it you already had filed whether you do it do it yourself or you have your immigration lawyer. Just do your research even though you have your immigration lawyer because all their forms should be submitted through them but of course you also have the receipt notice that way from time to time you know the timeline so timeline is one thing that could help you remove that agony of waiting the timeline is stated in each of your forms with the portal through the uscis.gov and also with the department of state through their website travel.state Com. Just make sure you file your forms and you had your signature. It's very important. By the way, there is an article that I will show you here. I'm going to put the link in the description that shows why it is not really advisable to have a payment with your forms using your credit card. 
it might not be able to process. So make sure you file your papers with a money order or a check. In our case, we had money order. That way we know that the USCIS had known that we prepared for the money and everything is with the right amount. If you would like to know the process and how much would it be, just go to USCIS.gov and look at the filing fees. If you got married to your US citizen spouse, congratulations, and you can move forward with your J-1 waiver process if you are subject to the 212E rule or home residency requirement. So the agony of waiting is what keeps us very nervous. I even have some J-1 teachers asking through J-1 waiver helping hands that they submitted their waiver for more than a year but now they don't have any results yet even filed through an immigration lawyer. They were asking if they can ask for their state senator or their state congressman, which you can do as long as you know that it is already beyond the processing time. Just make sure the timeline slash the processing time is within your scope of the time that you submitted your waiver and all the forms. That way, if it is beyond the processing time, then your state senator or your congressman could give you the information and they're the one who will tap the USCIS or the Department of State about the process and why is it taking so long. So again, just make sure that you know the process or the processing time to avoid the agony of waiting and most importantly always pray to the lord and if your intention is true and you are wanting to stay here in the u.s because of your u.s citizen spouse and or your u.s citizen child then god will really grant the desires of your heart as long as it aligns to his will this is emory powell and thank you so much for watching our videos hopefully this will help you out and please don't forget to like subscribe and share that way we can help a lot of j1 teachers also looking for insights about the do-it-yourself process with j1 waiver thank you and god bless